As I watch Walter White struggle to keep his meth dealing business a secret to those who matter, I can't help but picture myself in his shoes. I say this not because I wish to become a high traffic drug dealer, even though I could use some more action and drama in my life, but because, like him, I'm afraid of my own future. Throughout the show's plot, Walt sells Crystal more and more often due to his uncertainty of his family's financial stability should he die of his stage three lung cancer. The more he lies about it to their faces, though, the more the suspicion arises amongst his loved ones. Never once shall I consider trying any sort of narcotic drug or alcohol since my brain is something that I care for more than any one of my earthly possessions. But as I become a teenager whose responsibilities weigh down on me like a boulder on spider webs, you can only imagine how much I'd like to break bad before the demands of the world break me. It's not beneficial to the next generations of adults to make them worry about a college education and a white collar job before they can even feed themselves seven days a week. When you steer too far away from the interstate highway, even if you're in an RV, it'll take hours hours before the cops find you. When I steer too far away from what will satisfy me in life due to this onslaught of 4.0 GPA, take it or leave it, what will the effects of stage three? Anxiety, depression, <laughs> obsessions will finally amounting to doing well and exceeding find me. How I'd love to see the physical embodiment of my stresses explode like the house of a cartel member targeting Heisenberg. Anyhow, I'm not ready to grow up. I don't believe anyone of my generation is yet. But too often, the world has a funny way of destroying us when we feel like we'll be dead. They'll show you through all the troubles possible within your situation and then say that there's a blue sky at the end of every tunnel because everyone wants to feel like they're high within the clouds, meth or not. So, as I continue to binge watch Breaking Bad, I no longer see myself as a voyeur into the fictitious lives of druggies and broken families. I see myself like the white family, puzzling over tension between Walt and Skyler while I puzzle over why I am not an outstanding high school student, even though my intelligence is notable. Why am I not focused in all my classes that don't have ADHD? Why can't I get those A's like good students and my humanities magnet? The system knows best, but I know it doesn't because I don't have to be a PhD or the founder of a research company to show success once my potential has been proven. All there is to it is money. Money that they claim must be earned by the next generation's wall. Many college graduates today fail to get employed. A cartel must hunt down this mess because my needs as a student aren't being heeded to by my dealers of education, and I am all about respect. It's funny. We focus more on getting students to do well in school and life than making doing well in school and life something practical for all. I hope my name will go down, not just as a symbol of my generation's futures, but the empires of knowledge we will build. Now, say my name. <laughs>